little internet friends and welcome back to my collab channel. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I think both of our channels are just like the the new O2L. Oh my god, who do you want to be? Oh my, can I be the Ricky Dylan? No, I wanted to be <laughs> Ricky Dylan. That's so funny. We all want to be Ricky Dylan. Fine, I'll be Trevor. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, this is Sierra and we like to do these videos together because it's fun. Yeah. Today, actually, I'm really, really excited. So we're going to try the same outfits on in our respective sizes from Target. Yay, I love Target. I love Target so much. I didn't go in store, I went online and I actually was like overwhelmed because they have so much product. Mm -hmm. So I kind of got most of the outfits from Wild Fable. Oh, I like Wild Fable. But if you wanna see us try on other lines from Target, let us know. Yeah, I think we're definitely done at this point. I don't think the question is like, will there be more collabs? I think the question is like, what will we be trying in those collabs? <laughs> Correct. But for now, let's do our Target haul. Okay, so first of all, I like to say I think I actually did a very good job. <laughs> I'm excited just looking at this little stack right here. These look very, very Yeah, cute. usually I'm bad at this. Okay, so first up is this adorable tweed skirt. This is the women's plaid tweed mini A-line skirt. Uh, I got yours in an extra large and mine in an extra small, and they were both $20. And look at the stretchy waistband. I know, and I paired it with a graphic tee. I love a good graphic tee. I was actually it? like eyeing this in the store, and so I'm excited that we finally got it. And it's a crop top. And it's a crop. It's Women's The Future is ours, short sleeve, in a crop t-shirt. It's a junior's. I got you the extra Ooh. large, and mine is the extra small, and they're both 12 men in it. Cute! Yeah. You look cute! Oh my god! Okay, also, spoiler, we filmed the video on my channel first, and just, it did not go well. Yeah, that is true. So then putting this on, I'm like, oh! Oh yeah, like, you're kinda cute. So, I love the shirt. The skirt for me is like, we'll get to it, but the yeah. shirt, Love. Love, love, love. I saw this in store. I'm so glad I got it. I feel like the arms are a little bit long. Yeah, I love how you rolled your. You know what it feels like with the sleeves is sometimes I'll buy like men's double XL shirts and crop them, but then the sleeves are like weirdly big, and that's what this feels like. Yeah, that's the only thing I would say about it, but I bet you with one wash it'll shrink. Yeah. And it'll be like perfect. What do you think about the skirt? The skirt, I'm a little bit lukewarm on. It's kind of itchy. It's like that fake yeah, wool and yeah. it's a little itchy. Um, I feel like I'd probably wear tights with it and then that would solve the problem. Um, I love the way it fits my legs and my waist up here. I don't love the way it hits my stomach. It's a yeah. little bit tight here. Would you wear that or return it? Um, uh, see, I want to keep it because it's so cute, but I, I think actually like getting dressed in the morning, I don't think I'd be like, I want to wear that. Yeah. So I'd probably return it. I'm like the return queen. Like I hate wasting money, so. Yeah. I would definitely return this. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of it. I like actually think the length looks good. One, I wish it had pockets. Oh, yeah. But two, it's just a, it's a little bit big on me. It is, yeah. You'd probably need a size down. Uh, Target is hit or miss with me with sizes. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I feel like this is almost there, but I would definitely return it. Yeah, but I feel like this as like a, an outfit looks really cute together. Cute! So okay. good job on that. What would you rate the top out of 10? Oh, okay, so the top, I'm gonna actually give a nine out of 10. Ooh! And it's because I love the fit, I love the look, and I love graphic tees, but I refuse to be the girl who buys like a band tee for a band that I don't listen to. Yes. So like, I think like Van Halen shirts look super cute, but like, I don't listen to Van Halen, so I'm not gonna go buy one. This is like not actually a band tee, it's like a fake band band tee, so I don't feel like an idiot wearing totally. it. Totally. <laughs> I would say nine too, like I just am not stoked on the sleeves, but I love the look of it, I love the colors, I'm gonna wear this all the time. I am too, we'll twin. Yeah. <laughs> what would you get the skirt? Um, it's so close, and yet so far, I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna give it a six. Ooh. All right, we have so much more to do. We do. Next up, we have this camo slip dress, which maybe wasn't a good choice, <laughs> but like kind of sexy. It's the women's camo print sleeveless V-neck midi slip dress from Wild Fable. I got yours in extra large and mine in an extra small, and they were $28. I'm a little nervous for this. I know, but they styled it so cute. They put it with like a jean jacket and like Ooh. combat boots. Ooh. And I'm seeing a lot of slip dresses. You know, I wouldn't be opposed to something like this with like a t-shirt underneath. Oh, that's a good idea. I feel like that'd be cute. Very Carrie Dayton. She like styles stuff like that I all the time. I was gonna say, I just saw a video <laughs> where she wore a slip dress and I was like, okay, all right, that's coming back. This is very like 90s. Yeah, but I, I feel like I 
I don't know. I'm nervous about how this style is gonna look on me, but that's what's fun about these videos is I would never pick this for myself. Totally. And maybe I'll like it. Maybe. Let's or maybe give it I won't. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like this is like kind of lingerie-y. It's like super lingerie. Like I know this is the style, but I feel like I would be a little uncomfortable. Well, especially, I don't know, the length is weird. I feel like I've seen little slip dresses like this with the lace, but they're like shorter. Yeah. And then, I don't know, the, the length is weird. I was telling Lisa, I would like tie it. I would do like a little knot here. Yeah, I think so. Also, I feel like with a jean jacket, maybe in combat boots. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like some Doc Martens in there. You know, I'm a fashionista now. <laughs> you are. Um, like, I feel like you look sexy. Like, your husband Ooh. would be, like, all up in there. I feel like, same for you. So, yeah, I guess for a house dress, I don't know I don't know if I have it in me to wear this out in public. That's the thing. I would wear this, like, around the house. Like, this, to me, is, like, a like a cute little bedtime outfit. But if Steven was like, oh, hey, can you run to the store and get some milk? And I had to go in this, I'd be like, I'm going to put on a sweatshirt. I think so, too. What do you think about the fit? Um, the fit's nice. I'd say this is the right size for me. I It actually has, like, a gather in the back. So it gives a little bit more of that waist definition than I would expect. It really does. It's, I thought it was gonna be like a 10, Yeah, but it's not. I think we look good. <laughs> <laughs> like your boobs look great. Thank you. You know, like this is super flattering. Like, And the straps are adjustable. Yeah, this is, this is a nice yeah. lingerie outfit. Yeah. <laughs> so what would you give it? Um, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. I'm gonna give it like an eight out of 10 as a dress. Like it is constructed really well. It is, yeah. Like it, it fits nice, it feels good. Like, the material's soft, but it's not see-through. Yeah, it's a great dress for what it is. Whether or not it's our style is a whole nother story. Yeah. We can't say we didn't try. Yeah. Okay, next up I feel like is maybe not your style. Ooh, okay. But um, it's very Carrie. I feel like this whole thing is like very <laughs> Carrie Dayton. We need Carrie here. Know, Carrie, join us next time. We're going to do a triplets video. Oh, that'd be fun. So first up is this. It Ooh. is the women's leopard print long sleeve mock turtleneck blouse. I got yours in an extra large and mine in an extra small and it's $18. And it's not exactly what I was thinking it was going to look like. This kind of looks like a, like a club. Yeah, like, it's a little bit it like Jersey Shore, <laughs> but only if it had like really big cutouts for the boobs. <laughs> it looked a little different online if I'm being honest. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's like a mesh material. I like the material though. Like, like it, it feels, feels nice. very soft. Uh, I like the idea of it, but I don't know. But we're gonna pair it with this adorable black jumper. This is also from Wild Fable. Cute. I feel like we're trying to get, I'm trying to always to get you in overalls. Yeah, well, and I feel like I'm I'm slowly becoming more receptive to it. I recently bought a little overall dress like this that I love. Oh, okay. Because I think my thing with overalls is it's hard to get them where they fit me comfortably here and in the thighs. Right. But with a dress, <gasps> Oh, maybe really this matter. is gonna work. So this is called the Women's Sleeveless Halter Neck Denim Pinafore Mini Dress. <laughs> Yours is in the extra large and mine is in the extra small and it was $28. What do you think about these price points? Um, they're a little bit higher than what I'd expect for Target. Yeah. But I feel like so far, just feeling the quality, they feel okay. So it's it's kind of higher than I'd expect, but I don't mind as long as the clothes are good. Yeah, I think I agree. So let's give it a go. Lisa! <laughs> Other than our friendship, yeah. this might be my favorite thing that's come from us collabing. Oh my god! Like I'm actually gonna probably go home and order a second one of this if they have it in any other colors. I am that obsessed. I feel like I won the lottery because I feel like I always shop terribly for us and that makes me, my that warms my heart. <laughs> this is literally undoing any bad fashion choices that we've had before. This looks so cute on you. Don't you wish it had pockets though? Yeah, I do. It has the front pocket. Just, just, I feel like I could pull up my phone in there. Oh, I like that, yeah. yeah. These are stretchy. I didn't expect that. The other overall dress I have, I love the look of it, but it has that kind of fitted look a little bit more like this one, but it's not stretchy. So after a long day, it starts, I start getting a little like fidgety. Yeah. This is so stretchy. Like you could sit, you could stand, you could freaking do a cartwheel. Yeah, but wear underwear. Uh, what do you think about the top? Uh, the top. It's okay. Yeah, I like the idea of it. Like, so they were showing this with a shirt similar, but it was sold out. Mm. I like the high neck. I like the long sleeve. It's just a little cheesy. It's yeah. like this weird, like, ruchy in that it does up here that makes us feel like old ladies. Yeah, but I love the idea of wearing some sort of, like, mock neck sheer top under this. I don't know if it fits me great. For some reason, I'm not. Oh, does I feel it? like, yeah, I feel like it totally does. Okay. I feel like 
maybe it's the shirt underneath that's bunching weird that's like making me feel a little uncomfortable. Yeah, it, the shirt is bunching. I feel like I keep having to like take my hands and like smooth everything out, but then it just looks like I'm putting my hands in my pants. So hot. What are you giving the overalls? The overalls get from me a 10 out of 10. Oh. <laughs> what about you? Um, okay, I'm not completely sold, but I'm gonna give them an eight. I wish that they had pockets. What about the undershirt? I don't hate it as much as you do. I wouldn't even say I hate it. Like, yeah. I would totally wear this. Yeah. If I had to, but I'm not gonna like, I probably won't keep it. So, give it a seven? Yeah, I think a seven's good. There's nothing wrong with it other than it not being my style. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I feel Every like video. in the last, a few collabs ago, we did this and we looked like Mary-Kate and Ashley. Now we look like the Cheetah Girls. Oh. All right, and this last outfit, I like just went epic. I was really trying to redeem myself for all the bad outfits I put together <laughs> over the year. Um, so here it is. First off, I thought this was really cute, this turtleneck. Ooh, what size I got you in that extra? I think an extra large. I love turtlenecks. Yeah, this is an XL. How much was yours? Ooh, good question. Yeah, okay. They were both $16. I think it's so interesting. Sometimes the extra large will be a little bit more expensive, mm -hmm. but some of the extra smalls were a little bit more expensive. You know what I think that is, is a lot of the times the brands will price out based on how much they're ordering for an item. Oh. Small, medium, large will be cheaper because they're ordering, let's say like, a hundred of those, obviously it's more because it's Target. And then they would order like on a bell curve. So then they would only order 20 extra smalls and extra larges. It doesn't <laughs> seem quite fair, but these were the same price. And I paired them with these cute Wild Fable jeans. Ooh. I believe that they're mom jeans. They're high rise mom jeans. I got mine in a two. I think yours is in a 14. Yes. Okay, did I do that right? Yes. And yeah, these were size. $22. Ooh, what that's, a steal. That's a steal, For Tarjay. Wild Fable, right? Yeah. I, I hope they work. I like them. Last but not least, I had to get these for us. They're puffer jackets. <laughs> Dude, puffs are in. They are in. And you know what I like about this? It's a crop. Oh, you know what? I have a puffer from Fabletics. It's like a cinched waist. And I like it because usually puffers make me feel like I'm a big marshmallow. Yeah. But when I can like cinch in the waist or it's a crop like this, then I'm like, okay, I'm still like showing my hips. Yeah, but like cute. So I actually <laughs> the think- The inside is orange. <laughs> Girl, I'm all about this. And they paired it with this on the website. So you know what? We are so chic. We are so on trend. So effortless. <laughs> Let's <laughs> do this. <laughs> Dude, it looks so cute on the model. Like, it looks silly. Yeah, I. here's the thing. I'm not a purple person, I'm not a camo person, but if these were different colors, I actually don't mind, like, the fit. Like, I like what you said about how it's kind of a crop. It has this, yeah. like, elastic waist. You're right, let's check it out. You know, when I pulled that out, I was like, oh, these look small, but they're not. No, this is, I'd say, definitely the right size for me. Yeah, kind of cute, not mad about it. Let's take these off just to examine the rest of the deal. You know. The jeans are interesting. I want them to work so bad. Me I too. Do. They're like thin and I like that. I do too. They're kind of stretchy. Yes. Now here's the problem. So on me, they fit nice for like a straight leg jean, but they don't have a mom jean fit in the leg. The waist is like perfect and super comfortable, but then the legs, they're not too tight on me. They just don't have that loose fitting mom jean look. Yeah. And then on you, you get the loose fitting mom jean look, but the waist, it's too big. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not right. I feel like I might just wear these as a straight leg jean. I actually think those look good on you. Thank you. Yeah. I like them. Um, how do you feel about the turtleneck? Um, okay, it's a, woo, I'm stuck. It's a ribbed top, mm -hmm. which I don't tend to love. I don't know why. I usually think that they're like more structured and a little tighter, but I don't, hate it necessarily. What do you think? I love turtlenecks. Like I'm a huge turtleneck person for the winter. I just think the color's hard because this color I associate with like spring, but then sure. a turtleneck I think like winter. So let's put the whole outfit back together and then rate it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. This is like know. something you'd see on a mannequin and you'd be like, okay, that looks fun, but on me, no thank you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But all in all, it's not so bad. What would you give the jeans? The jeans, I'm gonna give it an Eight out of 10. Ooh! I love the fit, I love the material, I love the price point, and I love them as a straight leg jean. They just don't have the right proportions, at least for my body, to be a mom jean. I'm gonna go ahead and say eight too. Like, I actually think they're constructed well. I like everything about them. I just got the wrong size. And then shirt. Sure. Um, it's fine. Yeah. I'd give it a four out of 10, pretty much strictly for material and color. It's a little like, 
there's no stretch in it at all. No. It's not very comfortable. I, I give it like a five. Yeah. And the jacket? <sighs> the jacket's hard because I love the idea of like a cropped puffer. Yeah. But I just can't with the orange and the camo. I mean, that was my bad. <laughs> Cause like everything's leopard right now and I was like, I'm yeah. gonna live outside the box and get the camo, but if it was a leopard, I'd probably give it like a nine or 10 out of 10. But uh, for me personally, completely subjective rating, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. Oh damn! Just because I really hate camo. I'm gonna give it a seven. I think it's a pretty cool jacket. Just it is really cool. I mean, overall, I actually think that Target provide some really great options. Yeah. Wild Fable is a little bit on the higher end, but I do think the quality like fits the price point. I agree. I, that's my big thing is like, I don't really mind buying more expensive clothes or mid-tier clothes as long as the quality is matching up with that. Like I don't want to pay $30 for a shirt and then it fits and feels like a $10 shirt. Yeah. I feel like this adds up. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And I also feel like they're pretty true to size. Like, I would agree. We weren't like shocked by the fitting of anything. No. Well, I'm kind of thinking maybe they run a little bit big. Yeah. Because right now I'm kind of, my body's changing a lot. So I don't really know exactly what my size is. So sometimes I'm a 12, sometimes I'm a 14, sometimes I'm a 16. So I don't really know if they're true to size, but they fit me. Are you usually a zero? Because a lot of the stuff did fit a little bit big on you. Well, according to the internet in the comments, they're like, there's no way she's a two. Um, but I'm sorry. I'm just taking my aggression out. I will come for you <laughs> if you say anything about Lisa's size. You know what? Sizes like are obsolete in my opinion. It They're depends so on... arbitrary. Yeah, and I think that's why we do this to like remind you guys that like the number on the tag doesn't necessarily like represent anything. At Target, I actually think Target is a lot more inclusive and I do think they do run a little bit bigger, yeah. which I love. Um, so yes, I do think at Target, I need to size down. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up and then head over to Sierra's video if you haven't already been over there. Uh, we did a one size it's all extravaganza and it was it was something it was something it was a video that's for sure <laughs> and if you want to see more of us together please let us know let us know where you want us to shop from next and uh we'll see you there yeah bye